Hey guys, Dave Dawson with Intellectual News. I'm here with my very good friend Diego Robles. Diego, welcome to Intellectual News. How's it going, Dave? Uh, Diego joined me for Zach Levi's first panel of Nerd HQ. Uh, he was my photog. Thank you for taking all those brilliant pictures. It was, it uh, was a pleasure. Which all of you are getting to watch <laughs> while we chat. Um, Zach opens every Nerd HQ uh, because this is his thing. Uh, him and the Nerd Machine have been, been doing Nerd HQ now for five years. This is the fifth year. Zach opened up his panel by talking about how every panel at Nerd HQ benefits Operation Smile. Uh, the charity that Nerd HQ supports, and to the tune of four thousand dollars per panel. There's a ton of panels here for the next four days. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Um, do you know what Operation Smile does, Diego? No, no. What is that? Uh, Operation Smile helps uh, children with uh, cleft palates and uh, facial deformities. Uh, they help them get corrective surgery so that they can, you know, live their life like normal children. And it's it's fantastic. It's a really really cool charity. Um, and Zach, I mean, he, he's an amazing guy. Uh, during the panel, he talked about uh, capitalism. He believes in conscientious capitalism, that we can, we can still buy things, but we can also still do good in the world. And I think this Nerd HQ, is, that's the epitome of what, what he, he, he talks about and he lives it. Yeah, I, I agree. I really like the connection that he had with, uh, with a lot of the audience and a lot of his fans. They, they were just very... Uh, He's so he's so connected and he's so um, like he said uh, he's so passionate about what he um, what he's doing here mm -hmm. and and it just shows yeah. and it resonates in, in in the way that the interviews went. He he mentioned at one point that what he loves about the panels is when a panelist will come out and just really make the most of what a panel can be, yeah. and 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 it creates magical moments. And for me, in his panel this morning. When a young man uh, named Felix, little little boy, asked him a question, <laughs> "How do you do your emotional stuff so good?" Yeah, and it was right after all the discussion <laughs> about how Zach always needs boxes of Kleenex at these panels. And he's like, "Oh, Kleenex! I need Kleenex now!" And and he and he actually took the time to talk to this young man about acting in a, in a very real sense, how you connect to real events in your life and you try and draw the parallels between what your character is going through and, and what you're trying to convey on screen. And it was, it was cool to see him essentially teaching a young man what acting is. And, and he took the time and he didn't have to, you know? And I think that's amazing, it's really cool. Yeah, and, and, and <laughs> one thing that I loved about that entire moment was uh, also is he, try, he tried to not spoil <laughs> the end of the season? Yeah, because <laughs> the kid and his dad had only gotten through season two, and he's like, oh, oh, so you haven't seen the finale? And everybody's like, ooh. <laughs> it was awesome. It was, it was really cool. Um, one of the other cool things that he mentioned is William Shatner is doing a panel here today, which I'm super, super <laughs> excited about. The Shat. I think we all He's are. the man. <laughs> Apparently, William Shatner is doing Nerd HQ because somebody tweeted him on Twitter why aren't you doing a panel at Nerd HQ? <laughs> and Zach's like, I imagine William Shatner's response was, what is Nerd HQ? <laughs> but he's here, and it's awesome. So we're going to get to see William Shatner later today. I'm so freaking excited, <laughs> Captain Kirk. It's amazing. So, you know, I, a lot of cool stuff going on here at Nerd HQ. This is your first time actually attending Comic-Con in it, any way, shape, or form, it really. It is. It is. So, so what are you thinking, man? It's a madhouse around here. It's, I mean, we're on, like, the periphery. Because you know, we're here at the Children's Museum across the street from the convention center. It's, it's I, nuts, right? And it's, it's, it's really incredible because I, I literally only live less than a mile away. So, <laughs> so for me, it being my first time, I'm just kind of like, I, I, I've tried to stay away from the madness. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I'm here, I'm just going to embrace it. Yeah, every year you're going to be back, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And we'll keep coming back uh, all day today and for the next three days with more highlights from Nerd HQ. You're watching Intellectual News, where we have entertainment coverage. Check us out. <laughs>